My purple hero is Martina Navrasilova. As a tennis mad youngster, I would watch her every year at Wimbledon, and she managed to carry herself with such grace when talking about her personal life and make it easier for everyone that comes behind. And I think that's what I want to try and do as well. Uh, as somebody who is uh, LGBT, who's also in the public eye, um, I want to make sure that the way in which I go about my business, the way in which I uh, work within politics, uh, is something that encourages people from LGBTI backgrounds to come into politics, that, so that people don't think it's not for them. I know when I was first elected as leader of the Scottish Conservatives, I got lots of emails from young people saying that you know they might not be a Conservative but they were really pleased to see that I got elected because they never thought that they would see it happen. Um, and it hadn't occurred to me that it would matter to anybody else who became the leader of the Tory party. Um, but, it, but it did and that made me think that I would always answer questions uh, when they were asked to me. I would always make sure I never ducked it, never shied away from it. Uh, and that I tried to make it that little bit better for everyone else who came behind. And I think in terms of why it's important that people act as purple heroes uh, on Friday, um, it's because we all have a duty to look after people um, across the country, in, in our schools, in our workplaces, uh, in our communities. We know that uh, transphobic, biphobic and homophobic bullying exists. We know that it's particularly prevalent for our young people at school, we know how damaging it can be, and it's up to all of us to not walk by on the other side, to stand up and to make sure that people feel included uh, and that we have an inclusive Scotland. So that's why it's so important to support Purple Heroes this Friday.